This is a quick video for absorbers and how to calculate how much of the contaminant is actually absorbed. So what we'll start off with is just getting some of the nomenclature down. We're going to say that we're going to say that L, whoops, L is the total liquid. Total liquid. V it's the same idea, total vapor. So V is the total vapor, L is the total amount of liquid. And L naught is going to be the, the amount of liquid that is, con, is, con, is the containment. And little v is just going to be the total. So, so if another way of thinking it is L is equal to, or this little L is equal to the capitalized L times the mole fraction in the liquid. So that's how much containment we have in the liquid stream. So for L naught, that'd be L naught times L times X naught. And to get L in, that is equal to L times X N. And V is the same way. To get little v, you multiply it by the total the total vapor flow rate, which is usually in moles, and times it by the uh, mole fraction. And for the the amount of containment that is coming out of the vapor at the top is V times Y1. And that's how you calculate just those. Now let's do a mass balance. We're going to do a mass balance around this. Now around the entire system, we're not going to do it around N. We're going to do it so that what's coming in is L0 of the containment. What's coming in is equal to L0 plus the vapor coming in that has a containment, so it would be Vn is equal to what's going out. And what's going out is V1 plus Ln, or Ln minus 1. Ln minus 1. Now, if we assume that L0 is clean and pure, then that goes to 0. So then we get Vn is equal to V1 plus Ln minus 1. And now, now we're going to try to solve for just Vn. So Vn is also, is also equal to uh, uh, Vyn, Vyn, and Yn, Yn is equal to K x n is equal to k x n so then we get v times k n that's also an n times x n and x n is actually just equal to is equal to uh, l not or l n over l so now we can just rearrange that again so now we get v times kn times ln all over l. Now we're going to add in a new variable. We're going to call it the absorption factor, which is a. And isn't it, it is going to it is going to be equal to l over vkn. So that's actually an n, vkn. And we're going to take that we're going to give that to the power of minus 1. So then we get that to equal 1 over a. 1 over a n is equal to is equal to um, l over or no v k n over l. So if we plug that into this equation down here, we then get we then get um, L n over A n, and what we do then, we then take. Well, let me actually just re rearrange that. We had L n is equal to V n times A n, and what we'll then do is. This is also what Vn is equal to, so we'll take this component right here and plug it in down here. 
So this is also equal to v1 plus ln minus 1 all times a n. And then we're going to repeat the process again. We're going to repeat the entire process one more time around this area. Around this area. So let's do it for that. Now we've, we're going to assume that L naught is 0. Well, I guess I can write that. L naught is 0. But it, what's also coming in is V, or little v, n minus 1 is equal to what's going out, which is equal to L, um, L n minus 2, because L n minus 2, this, the liquid's coming in right there, uh, plus V1. And again, we get just we get just that. And then we repeat the process where we say we now, we can also say that V V n minus 1 is also equal to is also equal to V y n minus 1 which is equal to V let me make sure I'm doing that right. V k n minus 1 times x n minus 1 minus 1, and that is also equal to v k n minus 1 uh, l n minus no, that's 2. No, wait. Yep, no, that's right. l n minus 1 all over L. So now we have that, and then we can just plug in what we did before. We can just say that V n minus 1 are not that way. We'll do a rearrangement, and we'll get, I guess I can do that, V n minus 1 is equal to, is equal to L n minus 1 all over A n minus 1, and We'll do a rearrangement with this again. Ln minus one is equal to is equal to v n minus one times a n minus one. 